What's going on, guys? Criminal Justice here, and today we're back with another LSPFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the troops that fight for our freedom. God bless our veterans. And God bless Israel. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install the speed radar. Now, this is the um, this is the ground-mounted radar that sits on the ground and uh, detects speeders in the traffic, okay? Uh, and, you know, guys... I've been getting, uh, I've had some trolls here and there that is uh, not liking my intro, which, you know, I'm not going to change my intro because that's, you know, God is what I believe in. I believe in God and, and uh, I believe in, in what I support, which is, which is um, you know, our troops and Israel, you know, and our police officers and firefighters. And uh, I had somebody yesterday tell me that it sounded better to just say uh, support Palestine. And uh, even though, uh, you know, I don't disagree with anything the guy said, he was still being a troll and, and kind of got under my skin a little bit. But I just want to throw that out there to you guys. Just watch for trolls. And if they come on the channel, just don't don't bother about it, you know. I mean, if you guys want to, you know, fire at them or whatever, you know. But uh, I try to keep the drama down on my channel because, you know, it's it's uh, this, that's not what I represent, you know. And I just plainly told him, you know, I'm not going to change who I am or what I am or what I say because because of his thoughts, you know. He just, I don't know. But anyway, guys, just want to throw that out there and tell you guys that I love you so much. We're on the road to 9K. I appreciate you guys. Let's get into this. Go ahead and click that link down. It's the Speed Radar. It is going to bring you to this page right here in GTA5Mods.com. Guys, this is the radar that I am. I was talking about. It is the ground-mounted radar. It is a very, very handy tool to use. I use this in my LSPFR. I really, really enjoy it. Guys, guys, let's go ahead and click this green download button right here. Uh, yeah, guys, trolls are going to come, and they're going to come, then they're going to go. You know, he won't be the first, and he definitely won't be the last. So what do you want to do with the speedradar.zip, guys? As always, you can click save here to put in your downloads folder, or to click save as and put it where you like. Guys, I will be, I will be taking you in a game and showing you how this radar works. Um, so let's go ahead and close out of this. And let's go ahead and pull up our GTA 5 main directory. Now, there's a couple requirements you're going to need to make this speed radar work, guys, because this is a script, okay? First of all, you're going to need script hook V, and you're going to need script hook V.net. Now, I have tutorials on those, although we're not installing those two requirements today. I have tutorials on those that shows you how to install script hook V and script hook V.net, guys. I will leave those links in the description below that shows you how to install script hook V and script hook V.net. I will also leave my link down there uh, for my playlist, LSPFR Fresh Install. It will all be down there, guys. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now, the first thing you're going to need for this particular um, this particular radar right here is a scripts folder. Now, you guys can see I don't have one, so I'm going to show you how to make one, okay? You're going to go down in your main directory right here, right over here in the white somewhere, and right-click, and then click New, and then click Folder, and just simply name it Scripts. Just like that, okay? And then, of course, you want to refresh the page to put it where it's supposed to go. And then you're going to double-click on scripts, guys, like this. And then double-click on the Speed Radar WinRAR. You're going to grab this SpeedRadar.dll and drag it into your scripts folder just like that and drop it, okay? And that's all there is to this other than the fact that you need, you have to have um, script hook V and script hook V.net, Okay. But I do have uh, links on those so you guys can go find out how to install those and then you come back to the video. Uh, I might, I think I might have it installed. Let's see, script hook V. I have script hook V installed. I do not have script hook V.net installed. So let me go ahead and get rid of this, guys. And uh, let me minimize this. And let me go to my files here. Yes, I have a lot of hard drives, guys. I do. Um, let me go over here, and I'm going to pull out scripthookv.net and put it on the desktop right there. And I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install it real quick because i got to have it anyway. I don't think I have it. I'm pretty sure I don't. Let me double check here again. Scripthookv. Yeah, I have scripthookv, but not, not .net. So if you guys um, have this, I'll show you how to access it real quick. Let me go here and go to Google and just type in scripthookv.net right there. And it will, it should take you to this right here, Community Script Hook V.net. And all you want to do, guys, is download it as always, and then click Save to put in your downloads folder, or Save As, and put it where you'd like. Once you get it downloaded, guys, you'll come back to this page and double click on the WinRAR. And uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it. 
Now, the files that you want, guys, are these files right here. You want the scripthookv.net 2.dll. You want the scripthookv.net 3.dll. And you want the scripthookv.net.asi, okay? And what you're going to do with these guys, you're going to grab all three of these files right here, pull them into your main directory like that, and just drop them, okay? And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. If you have scripthookv and scripthookv.net installed and the speed radar, you are now ready to go. Let's close out of our WinRAR. Let's uh, exit out of that and cl uh, refresh our directory, of course, and close it. And I will see you guys inside of the game. Okay, guys, so to test this mod out and showcase it for you guys, I decided to come out here to one of my very favorite, no, my number one favorite place to radar, which is right here in uh, Grande Sonora Desert and Sandy Shores. This Sandy Shores exit right back there. Uh, but this is what I usually do, guys. I will park my car uh, normally in the middle of the median, or I will park it, um, you know, I'll park it right here. Let me, let me just go ahead and park it right there. All right, and then normally I will set a radar right over there in the middle, uh, getting the traffic coming from that way, or I will, and I'll set one here, getting the traffic coming from this direction. So we're gonna go ahead and set one up right here. We're gonna set it up about right here. You want it off the road. You're gonna use your number path for this, guys. Make sure your num lock is on, and you are going to hit the decimal over um, on your number pad, the dot. Right by the zero on your right side, hit that. It's going to bring up your menu. You are going to hit five to place the radar, okay? As soon as you place it, it's going to start clocking people at kilometers per hour, okay? So make sure you hit five again to deactivate it. Go down and change it to uh, Imperial or Metric if that's what you like. And then just simply change the speed limit by going down with your two and then hitting four to take your speed limit down and six to take your speed limit up, okay? Now we're going to set the speed limit at um, about 50 miles an hour, just just for giggles. And then you go back up to where it's working and click 5 to activate it. And now you'll see that everybody has a green square around their car until they're speeding. And then it turns into a red diamond. See that? See how you're speeding? And then it turns into a red diamond. And it also flashes when someone's speeding. See that? If you watch it, it will actually flash like it's taking a picture just like the old radars. See that how it does? And at this point, you know, you'll be getting your car and you can just sit here if you want patrol and wait for somebody to speed. As for me, I like to back up into the bushes a little bit with what I call bushwhacking. This is what I call bushwhacking. And I back up in the bushes and when somebody speeds, I get after them. So we'll sit here and wait on the speeder. That's 53, not too bad. But if you look at it, it actually gets a little bit of both sides of the interstate. But that's why I put two radars up. There's... He's doing 67 right here. I think that's what he was doing. So we'll light this guy up right here. And I'm going to show you guys a really cool trick too. So when you when you leave the radar where it is, no matter how far away you get from it, guys, the radar will be there when you get back. I kid you not. It will be there when you go back. So once we get this guy pulled over, I'll show you what I mean. All right. Let's get this guy pulled over. Come on, man. Get it on over, brother. Come on. Stop your car, man. Quit being stupid. He's going to stop right there. Huh. All right, so we're going to use traffic police, you guys. And if you guys have been following my tutorials, you'll know exactly what this is. For those of you who don't, I have left the link for the description in the description below. That will take you to the playlist. It shows you each step in order how to install these mods, okay? Let's go ahead and get him pulled over to the side of the road. But that's pretty much it for speed, the speed radar, guys. I just wanted to show you that real quick. But I am going to go back and show you guys that the radar will still be there. All right. And role play. Dispatch, give me a 1028 on a 29 Zebra Sam Adam at 643. Target vehicle license plate. 29 Zebra Sam Adam 643. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Now that's about it, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel the traffic stop. Okay. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you guys that that radar is still sitting there. So we're going to make a U-turn right here in this intersection. Or I mean in the median right here. And we're going to go back. Now you won't see the radar just yet, but the closer you get to it, the more you'll see it start picking up cars again. Alright, so let's get on through here. Now since we get close up here, you'll see the radar start picking up cars again. See, there it is. There it is right there. And that way, in case you forgot where you put the radar. Excuse me, sir. 
That way, in case you forgot where you put the radar, you always know about where it is. I'm trying to remember where I put it at. It's actually further down this way. Oh, sorry about that. So I do know the radar is like right over here. Yep, see, and there's the radar right there. But let's go ahead and get through. Man, why you got to stop like that for real? Like, you just had to stop at that spot. So there's our radar right there, guys. It's still there. Now, to remove this radar, you can do two things. You can get out and walk up beside it, or you can pull up beside it and hit your decimal again on your number pad and go down, hit the two to go down, and hit five to remove all radars, and it takes it off. And that is pretty much it, guys and girls, for the speed radar. Thank you all for tuning in my video. I appreciate the love and support, guys. We will be continuing to do these tutorials in the order in which, you know, I install the mods and the order they're supposed to be in. And guys, just so you know, Vocal Dispatch will be one of the last things that we install, okay? Um, we'll probably go through all of our plugins, and we'll install callouts here and there. And then I'll show you guys how to install your open IV modifications, of course, like your realistic gun sounds, your realistic looking guns, uh, your Kiflom replacement uh, that actually has your guy say, can I have some ID instead of Kiflom? Uh, you know, radiance to make your lights brighter, uh, you know, ELS to, 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 to make give your lights more control. Uh, we're gonna go through the whole process, guys, okay? So just so you guys know, are aware of that, I'm going to post a video every day on this. I'm sorry I can't post more today, guys, but I do have a family, and I, I have my four, I have my girls here with me every day. So, uh, but do, but guys, I really do appreciate the love and support. Thank you all so much for the almost uh, 9K subs. Now um, we are pushing it, and uh, it is all because of you, ladies and gentlemen. I love y'all so much. Till next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another, and peace out.